Hello and welcome back to my channel Welshman Reviews. Today I'm going to be unboxing the Xavi exclusive Mad Max Anthology Steelbook Collection. So I've been having an hour about this for quite a while, well since it's come out actually, so I'm a really bit late to the party because I think it came out last year. It did, but it went down in price on Xavi. I think it was about 60 quid, 59.99 and for the four steel books and a beautiful metal out the casing, I think it's a really good price to be honest. So I bit the bullet and went for it. I did. I'm still um and ah and about the Mad Max one. These are still on Zavi. I think they've gone back up to 99.99 right now. It is, but I'm sure they'll come back down in price sooner or later. They will. So I'm still um and ah and about getting the Mad Max one. No, not the Mad Max. Sorry, the Matrix one. But yeah, I had to pick up this. I haven't got the first three on Blu-ray or 4K or anything, to be honest. I have got the Titans of Cult uh, Mad Max Fury Road, which was probably one of the first videos I did on you, to be honest. Uh, one of the first few it was. So let's open this up and see what we got. Right, so we're back and I've taken off the cellophane. So let's have a look. So first off, let's get the... J card office, shall we? Uh, so stuck down the bottom. Let's try and see if we can get that off without ripping it. So just your one you get for these, similar to the one you got for uh, Lord of the Rings. Except I don't think Lord of the Rings had the big J uh, card back on it. It is, but it kind of shows you what you get in this movie. The usual jargon, isn't it? And then on the bottom, we get the three movies and the cast and crew. It is, and then the ring around it. Pretty much the same thing. Mad Max Anthology, 4K Ultra 4K. Uh, 4K Ultra HD, four films. Blu-ray as well of them. So, the usual jargon on them. So, let's bring the main... Uh, boxing so first of all we will have a look at the outer casing so pretty much same picture on the both sides pretty much all the villains of the four movies we have very nice i do love the uh, gray uh, metal the metal look of uh, the design it is and then on the top we do get the hero Mad Max, Mel Gibson's one by there, and on the back. Unfortunately, you'd think they do that, uh, and you'd think they'd have both uh, characters who played uh, Mad Max. So obviously Mel Gibson done it in the first four, and then Tom Hardy in the newer one. So that's a little bit weird not to see that on the design. Seems that they did do it with the villains, but they are beautiful artwork around there. It is. I do love the metal look it is metal but the metal look all the way round then on the bottom end we have the warner brothers logo and the warnings as well so first let's put that to one side and we will get each steel book out one at a time so the first one we will get out is the first one that uh, started it all so very beautiful steel book i do like the green or the like the light blue greenish blue it look if it looks like with mad max in yellow it does there's the famous car the villains as well one of the villains and the um one of mad max's uh police friends as well who dies midway through the movie i think it is but yeah very nice indeed very beautiful pattern like a oil spill around there that looks like with dripping and then on the back end bit of a close-up of the car cast and crew down the bottom it is and then we open it up we get mad max in the 4k on the yellow disc and then your usual traditional blu-ray one on the blue colored one and then on the inside i'm a fuel injected suicide machine so I'm guessing each one's going to have a little saying inside. But yeah, very nice uh, steel book to start off with. So next one in, and in my personal favourite out of all four, Mad Max The Road Warrior. 
So we get uh, the two main uh, bad guys in that as well. And then the convoy at the end. The lorry he's driving to get away with the fuel. Or what you think is fuel. Spoiler, it's not. They just filled it up with sand. But yeah, my favourite out of the lot. And then we get the car in the back again, similar. It is, yeah, definitely my favourite out of the lot. Followed by probably Fury Road then. So it's the same again. Mad Max Road, uh, the Road Warrior on a yellow disc. And the Blu-ray one on the blue colour disc. And then on the inside there. You want to get out of here? You talk to me. Very nice. It is a bit of a different uh, one. It's still similar, but a few little different designs around it. Then we get the third one, which probably is the weakest one out of the lot. But it's still a pretty good movie. A pretty fun movie. It is. So you have Tina Turner as the main bad guy by there. It is. Again, with the little design. But it looks like the design around it is the Thunderdome. It is. So Mad Max again in yellow. Lovely red background. I do like they're all different colours. And then we have a little bit of a convoy again at the uh, on the back again. So very nice. So I won't take the discs out because it's going to be blank behind there anyway. But it's the usual coloured discs as well. Two men enter, one man leaves. So... Very nice. And then last but not least, my second favourite in the franchise, Mad Max Fury Road. Obviously, um, oh God, George Miller came back to direct this one and he done an amazing job. One of my favourite films of this year. It was, it could have been my favourite film actually of that year. It is, but yeah, brilliant actress, uh, Charlize uh, Theron. I love her as an actress and all. I'll watch her in anything. And uh, Nicholas, um, yeah, Nicholas Holt as well, who's becoming a really uh, good actor in uh, Hollywood right now. Tom Hardy, Tom Hardy, brilliant in everything he pretty much does. And that, and uh, the big convoy, but there. And I do, probably my favourite look in Steelbook. I love the gold background with Mad Max again, Fury Road. And then all back end, we get the lorry they're driving in. And then when we open it up, we get three discs this time. So we'll pull that one out. Because you're not going to get met the thing. There's just two Blu-rays per there. But we get the black and uh, chrome edition on this as well. What a lovely day. I have watched it in the black and uh, chrome. But to be honest, I, mean, I do prefer it in colour. I think it looks brilliant on 4K. And that, uh, yeah, this movie absolutely stunning on 4k I haven't yet I, well obviously i haven't seen these yet in 4k but i will have to have a look one day and get around to it but that is the collection and it is a very nice collection indeed and it will go nicely next to my lord of the rings and the hobbit uh, trilogies as well but like i said still i'm in an hour and about the matrix one so maybe when it comes back in, down in price again i will pick it up i will but for now, I just I just picked this up. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Tell me what you like about the Mad Max movies. How you would rank them as well. And if you'd like to see more videos, I guess, please subscribe to my channel. And I will see you next time.